Hi, I am the doctor, and today's patient is a 2014 GMC Arcadia, right here. I'm gonna give an oil change, an oil filter change also. I'm gonna show you what you need and how easy it is to do it, real quick and simple. These are the tools you need, a ratchet, a 15 millimeter, handles right here to take off the oil filter, or if it's hand snug, you can take it off. But this is to make sure it ain't gorilla tight. The oil filter. I got this from O'Reilly's. Extended life, 10,000 miles. Okay. This is what it's going to do, and this is what it's going to look like. Right here. You got your oil. Right here. Six quarts. And also, everybody needs to use gloves. Some latex gloves right here. So... Here we go, right now. And also, one other thing, pay attention. It's very important to have this lifted in the air. I got lifted it up in the air with the jack. Two jack stands on the right, one on the left. Makes it a lot easier for me to get under there. Even though the GMC is pretty high, it makes it a lot easier for a little bit more. Two millimeter, there we go. Now, you also need, the most important thing is your oil pan, right here. Now I'm about to get underneath right now. It's a 15 millimeter drain plug, and here I go. Gotta make sure everything is right. The drain plug is not far underneath. It is right here, right here. I got a card over here, won't make a mess. And this is where we go, right here. If everybody can see it right here, this is where the drain plug is at. Right here. On the engine right here. The little one goes out right here. But you also got to remember, like I got the cardboard under here for the mess. You also can use cat litter at the same time or some other sheet plate that people use underneath. Now here we go. There he is. Ready. There we go, there we go. Okay, now it's off to take off. Put that right here like this. There we go, we're gonna be careful. We'll get a little oil on me. That's out of repair, there we go. Like I said, a little bit of oil on the hands. This right here is the drain plug. You gotta look at it very carefully. Now let me bring this up because I gotta clean it up and I wanna show you how this looks. And here we go, as you see, it's almost ended dripping. It's like done. That's why I'll put this drain plug in. It's just about finished as you see it. Just let it go for a little bit more. There we go. When the wind starts blowing in like that, you gotta be careful, it don't blow all over the place. It's very easy to do. If you don't got jack stands, you can just go up on the curb where you're at and do it from there. You know, just in case you don't have jack stands, you need to know how, how another way to do it. There we go. Snug it in, nice and tight first. Don't gorilla tight it, cause you'll break it. It's a drain plug. Now, it. It's on, there we go. We go. One, two, that's all it is. Now, is the oil filter is what we need. Before we start, before we start on the oil filter, we got to take out the oil pan, get it off of the other right here, not the cardboard, because this filter is sideways. When you take it out, it is going to fall. 
You know, it ain't up top, it's sideways. It will drain out. And then the way I have to go in and get it is from the top. There we go. Put that like that. First, I'll take out the cardboard. As you see, I'll be putting it back in in a minute. Stands. Get that look. There we go. All we want is just a couple of This one right here. Now, put that truck down. So now, put the cardboard back under there. Because this will have stuff. Now, Filter is right down here. As you see, it's right down here. That white filter right there, that's where it is. Now, I gotta get down there and see if it's hand tight. If it is, that's beautiful. If not, I got my oil filter pliers. First, gotta work my way right through here. Well, I gotta use the pliers. I bring this down right in there. I see I have the pliers ready to go. Now I got it right here. As you can see, I got the pliers nice and tight on there. There I go, you see it's moving. I got it right here. There it is. It's turning. But now, like I said, here's the careful part. Because once I turn it really, really loose and bring it out, oil will spill because there's oil in there. There we go. Now you see. Well, well, there we are. I was able to tilt it up quickly. Here we go. This is what it looks like. And like I said, all the oil is still in them. They got a lot in there. I was able to tilt it up very quickly before it all got over the place. There's some. On the new ones, you always want to put new oil around the lid. Sometimes they put some oil inside. The old one. Here we go. I'm going to put the new one on. Do that. Open this. The oil. Go 
dab my finger, just rub it around, as you see, makes everything easier. Now, here I go again. They're not supposed to be real tight where you need pliers or any special tool to get off. This one is supposed to be snug tight, hand tight. See, there I go, right in. <coughs> okay, here we go, put the oil in. As you see, the filter is down there. I already put it in right down there. There's where the filter is. I just tightened it, stuck my hand straight down like this, and just tightened it in there, just like that. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Now, here we go. The oil, you gotta be careful with the oil. You don't want it dripping all over the place. There you go. Just take it easy, take your time. You know, go all the right way. There you go. I spilt a little right there. No harm, no foul. Nice golden brown oil right there. Help this car right here breathe again. This is the bloodline right here. And if you don't have an angle, it's a certain angle, put that filter on. The treads the way they are. You gotta be careful. It happens if you don't know it. I didn't know. It took me a little longer, but I got it on. Now I know. Treads down, just to tilt a little bit to the right. That's it, you can't go straight in with this. Thanks to GM. There we go. Tighten her up. Oil's there. That's fucked. that away now another patient successfully survived the operation if 
you want any questions, subscribe to my channel. I will show you and I'll teach you at the same time. Go ahead and subscribe. Have a nice day. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. And I'll answer and tell you everything you need to know about this DM. Peace and have a nice day.